This match means to me everything. I started off as an intern. I was just a kid who loved movies, who moved to Hollywood, lied his way out here because he loved movies that much. Now, I am like Rudy and Rocky. I'm Roddy. Hey, when I think of JTE in our match, I think of nonsense. It's nonsense. I basically embody the underdog of every kid out there. Everyone out goes and sits down and watches this on YouTube and says, I know that answer. Oh, I could do this. I'm that guy. I think JTE represents the everyman because every man can step through a door and answer a bunch of movie trivia questions, but not every man can get them right. That's why I'm here. Mark Riley is a champion. He shouldn't be a champion. I lost on a question in the first showdown. It was a Van Damme question. Which hockey team did you pick? I took a guess. I put the New York Rangers. That is incorrect. Mark Riley, do you have the answer? Yeah, I put the Rangers too. <laughs> That's bizarre. <laughs> Jete has no points left, and Mark Riley no. is the winner. I bet all my points. I did a maximum, maximum risk. Now I have a hard target on Riley, and I'm on a quest. And with that quest, I have a heart, a lion heart. And if I could, I would be a time cop and go back to that first match and make it a blood sport. Because that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to win, and I'm going to leave no one behind. I said this before, that big gold shiny belt will be mine. I stand for Collider. Collider. This is Collider's house. And JTE, he's a guest in this house. He's a guest of Collider. I decide when he's going home. And you know what, JTE? You're going home. Welcome back to the movie trivia schmodown and my lord, I'm Christian Harloff. Hey, hey, I am Mark Ellis, and boy, did I pick the right week to get out of rehab, Christian. Yep. We have a man, Josh the Engineer, who can barely dress himself, might have a chance to win a big shiny belt. This is the title match. You have JTE against the reigning champion, Mark <laughs> Riley. This is their second match, the second time these two have competed, Mark. That's right, JTE is the top contender, and Christian, the landscape for the contenders that we've already built up here in the movie trivia showdown looks pretty impressive let's take a gander right now who in the world would have guessed that i'm about to say this finstock what? is the number four <laughs> contender at two and one the fans don't like him the Christian. fans don't like him but he doesn't matter because he keeps on winning and then number three classy clark wolf with a, a impressive impressive victory wow. over josh mcguga fans really like her one and oh and then the number two contender is the reigning Screen Junkies Movie Fights champion, that's Dan Merle, and of course, you've got every man's hero at number one, JTE. That's right, Christian. He bays less than anybody else on the contender list, but he is at the top, and he's about to take on the champ, Mark Riley. Before we get to the matchup, we want to see what everybody out there in the Twitter sphere, that's not a word, is saying right Should now. Be. Let's hear it. Thanks, guys. You guys have been sending in your tweets. Is Riley going to keep his title, or is JTE the underdog going to win? Let's check out what you guys have to say on Twitter. All right, first tweet comes from Alan Bennett, and they write, As much as I love JTE, I think Riley is too strong. Ooh. This next tweet comes from Sam Marcius, and he writes, I feel like we shouldn't underestimate JTE, but Riley is so damn good. I feel JTE wins an OT, or Riley by KO. Damn! This guy says, Believe in JTE and believe in America. Ugh, so patriotic. Nick Piccolo writes, If Riley doesn't win, we riot. JTE doesn't stand a chance. This one comes from Avery in Towns, and he writes, I'm calling for the upset. JTE will be our new champion. Yikes. All right, guys, we heard what you had to say. There are a few JTE supporters, but here's the poll. Most of you guys think that Riley's going to keep the belt. Let's find out. Back to you guys. All right, so as you hear it, Mark, it looks like most people think that Mark Riley is going to win. And it makes sense. Mark Riley has been dominant. If you go back to the 2014 tournament, he knocked out both of his opponents. That would be the number nine contender, Gray Drake, and Alicia Malone. Knocked them both out. Oh, we were so young back in those days, Christian. And as we go to the tail of the tape here, yep. you take a look at Mark Riley and JT. What stands out to you about these guys? Well, obviously, with Riley, comic book knowledge, Star Wars knowledge, classic knowledge, and great hair. 
And then you have also JTE. Not as good hair on him. No, JTE also great movie knowledge. Stallone heavy. And as well as mispronunciating everything. You know, Christian, I'll tell you this, is that JT, as much as he loves action movies, he missed a crucial Van Damme question a couple years ago. It really cost him. Will that sort of play come back to haunt him here in the movie trivia showdown? We're about to find out. We are about to find out. Are you ready, Mark? Are you guys ready? Here we go. It is the match we've been looking for. The title match is upon us. Oh, Christian, I know you love this part the best because you get to introduce the competitors and show off those golden pipes that your parents blessed you with. I'm ready to hear it. My earplugs are in. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Championship match. Five rounds for the Undisputed Championship. Introducing first, he is the challenger with a record of three wins, one defeat, representing box office breakdown. He is the Screen Junkies engineer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2014 Ultimate Schmodown semi-finalist and the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown finalist. It is every man's hero, J.T.E. You know, Christian, he looks ready to go. I cannot believe Giselle married that. Shocking to this day. His opponent needing no introduction in the movie trivia showdown with a record <laughs> of four wins, no defeats, with two knockouts, representing Collider. He is the 2014 Ultimate Schmodown winner and the reigning defending movie trivia showdown champion of the world, Mark Iodi Riley! Oh, he's got the oh. Superman under his Superman jacket, Christian! Oh, look Mark at that mean moment by JT. There is the title. It is there, yes, the Collider yes. Championship, the movie trivia championship. It is here, Mark. Oh, my God. And you look very good for a man just having cranked that out of his voice. That Blocked sounded terrific, my friend. You are the number one contender when it comes to introductions. But, Christian, look at this. It looks like Kal-El going against the very vision of Kryptonite in persona. That would be Josh the Engineer. What a <laughs> matchup this is going to be. What a matchup. So let's get to it. This is very different than our normal matches. This is five rounds. Five rounds for the championship match. The first round. Here are the rules. The contestants will get six questions from six predetermined categories, one point apiece. You cannot steal from your opponent. Mark Riley, you are the champion. Would you like to go first or second? I will defer to my opponent. Okay, JTE, pick from category one or two. Two. Two, okay. JTE will be going first. Mark, you will be asking JTE the questions first from category two. I will be proctoring the questions. Josh, are you ready? Let's do this. Mark, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. And our first category of the first round for JTE is Oscar movies. Josh, what is the most recent Best Picture winner that did not earn a Best Director nomination? That would be... Argo? Give Correct. that man a point right off the bat. <laughs> Opening strong, just like Belichick coached him. In your next category, 90s movies, in which film will you find the desirous character named Wendy Peppercorn? Um, going to say... Three, two, one. Singles? Oh, we were looking for the Sandlot, a team you might have oh, made in lifeguard. your youth. The oh. Sandlot, she was the hot lifeguard. lifeguard. And now we move on to Animated. Name the film with the following synopsis. During her family's move to the suburbs, a sullen 10-year-old girl wanders into a world ruled by gods, witches, and spirits, and where humans are changed into beasts. You repeat it one more time? I That's certainly can, synopsis. though it is a mouthful. Okay. During her family's move to the suburbs, a sullen 10 year old girl wanders into a world ruled by gods, witches, and spirits, and where humans are changed into beasts. Five. Animated. Four, um, let's go with. Three, two, one. Um, 
Princess Monarchy? Oh, we were looking for Spirited Away, one Same of direction. Christian's oh. favorite movies. I believe it has a horse in it. Uh, sure. Okay, sure. so yeah. let's start with Mark Not Riley, good. the champion. What in Oscar films? What war film it released in 1970 won the Oscar for Best Picture? Those sunglasses really added the mystique. Five, four, three, two. Bridge over River Kwai. <laughs> the answer we're looking for is Patton. Patton. <sighs> Thank you, Finstein. All right. <laughs> In the category of 90s movies, who played John Connor in Terminator 2 Judgment Day? Edward Furlong. Correct. <laughs> Give that man a point. All we are right. now tied, Christian. Tied. Yeah, champ. All right. In the category of animated, in which Disney film will you find an owl named Archimedes? In which Disney film will you find an owl named Archimedes? Five. The Rescuers? The answer is Sword in the Stone. Oh, great Weird. film, Christian. So we are one and one. Unusual name for an owl, though it may be. Tough and now we go yeah. back First to round. JTE. This is a champion. In the Jeez. category of fantasy sci-fi, who was the lead actor in the science fiction film Equilibrium? Christian Bale. Whoa, right. I've never even heard of the movie. <clears throat> this guy gets the point. And now we move to drama. Drama. Number two. Name two of the stars of the film Sleepers. Brad Pitt and Dustin Hoffman. Those are two of the stars of the film Sleepers. <laughs> Give that man another point. And in 80s movies, to round out your first round, who plays the big boss to Josh Baskin in 1988's Big? I know the actor. I'm trying to remember his name. That is not the answer. Uh, hold on. Five. Frank Lagella? We were looking for the great performance from Robert Loggia. Robert Loggia. Recently passed. Also, right. great in Independence I love Day. That so guy. the so challenger is, is leading right now three to one as we get to Mark Riley, who is up in hmm. fantasy sci-fi. This is his category, Christian. Mark Riley, who plays Khan in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan? Oh, yeah. Uh, Ricardo Montalban. Correct. Three to two. Also great in The Naked Gun. Yeah. In the category of drama, who directed 2001's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. I forget his one. name. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. Michelle Gondry. That's I'm looking for Michelle Gondry. Exactly right. <laughs> All right. And Thank your you. last category <laughs> in the category of 80s movies, who plays policeman Will Teasel in 1982's First Blood? Wow. The champ is looking on the road. He clearly here. does not have the answers written on the inside of his sunglasses. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't have it. Nothing from the champion. The answer we were looking for was Brian Denny. Oh, that's right. Brian Let's Denny. See. So it looks like the bright lights have affected both the champion and challenger, but the challenger is in the lead. JTE, three to two, going into the second round. That's right, Christian. Just like a huge prize fight, the fighters feel each other out here in the first round. Yep. And as a note to the competitors, Brian Denny, he is literally the answer to 75% of these right. questions. <laughs> All right, know. so Good now know. here is how round two works. The Wheel of 14 will be presented by the lovely Sasha Pearl Raver. Oh, she's here? She is here. The competitors will spin the wheel. You can choose to spin once again if you don't like the category you got, but only once. One mulligan. The mm -hmm. points are worth two points apiece. If you opt for multiple choice, the points go down to one. You can steal from your opponent in this round. Okay, JTE, you are in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? I'll let Riley go first. Riley, go first, please. And letting spin. Riley have and first spin pick. And big spin, please. Big spin. Here we go. There's the spin. You're telling a guy wearing a Superman jacket to spin oh, big? You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Did he hit Star, Star Wars? Wars? Did he hit Star Wars? Oh, my Wars? Lord. <laughs> Are you going to stay with it? Yeah, I'm going to stay with that. <laughs> All right, Riley, sticking with Star Wars. Boy, did he pull the one that would embarrass John Roca, but you, go. sir, are no John Roca. Oh, Here Roca. comes 
The Star Wars questions. Riley, you're a huge Star Wars fan. Let's see how these questions hit you. Let's see how Your big. first query is, in what year was the popular film Return of the Jedi released? 1983. Two points right off the bat. No need for multiple choice there. In the original trilogy, what actor is in the suit as Darth Vader? David Prowse. Two more points, Christian. He's rolling through this category. This is the champion we know. Yep. In which film is the name Darth Plagueis mentioned? It would be episode three, Revenge of the Sith. He even gave us the episode number. I didn't even care, and he got <laughs> it anyway. <laughs> Last question. What color is the lower half of C-3PO's right leg? Silver. Give the man two wow. more points, and that was a I would big expect round. nothing less from the champion. He hit Woo! Star Wars. He needed Star Wars. He needed that. He got it, and he aced it. Wow. Ten to three going into JT. The champion spin. has been awoken. JT looking for Stallone movies, but unfortunately, Stallone, Stallone movies here. not on the board. Right. Here's the big spin. Here it is. Julia Roberts is looking for JT. Don't give me Julia Roberts. Uh, Scorsese. Scorsese. I'll take it. Stick it. Wow, JTE pulls a Scorsese. You know, he's a guy that likes to consider himself a film buff yep. when he's out on a date with ladies. Let's see how it pulls off yep. right now for Scorsese. Questions. There we go, Scorsese. All right, JTE, you're up. Yep. All right. Which stand-up comedian appeared in Martin Scorsese's film Taxi Driver? Stand-up comedian and taxi driver. Um, Peter Boyle? It's incorrect, Mark. Albert Brooks? Correct. Two more points. Wait, so Didn't Boyle go to multiple choice. Didn't Look go for out. multiple choice. Peter Boyle is not a stand-up comedian. What? Peter Boyle is not a stand-up comedian. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. JTE. And remember, you can use multiple choice. In Martin Scorsese's New York, New York, Robert De Niro's character is a musician. What kind of musician was he? Multiple choice. Was he a trumpet player? A saxophonist, a guitarist, or piano player? I'm going to say saxophone. That is correct. That Oof. is correct. Wow, JT with one point. Boy, this a huge exhale from JT's yeah. side. 12 to 4 here. All right, JT, which singer-songwriter played Pontius Pilate in Martin Scorsese's The Last Temptation of Christ? Uh, that would be David Bowie. That is correct. JT coming back there. Okay, JT's last question. In what part of New York City does Mean Streets take place? In what part of New York City does Mean Streets take place? I'd say Brooklyn. Incorrect. <laughs> Riley, would you like to steal? Look at that stone face. He's actually crying. You just can't see under the glasses. <laughs> uh, five. Bronx. We were looking for Little Italy. All right, so at the end of round two, it is 12 to 6. The champion is in the lead. Here is how round three will work. This is the Jeopardy round. Because Mark Riley is in the lead, he will have five points of his 12 that he can bet. JTE can bet three of his points. They will spin the wheel. Whatever category comes up, they will bet an amount of points. Then they will get a question, and they will reveal what it is. All right, now that the rules are done for round three, Mark Riley, you're now in the lead. Please spin the wheel and then write your points down. The wheel is being spun. Sasha Solid spin. And the category, romance. Woo! All right, so JT can bet three points. Mark Riley can bet five. That is the max that they both can bet. All right, here we go. Are you gentlemen ready to write? Write your points. Please give them to Sasha. Thank you very much. Okay. Name one of Ryan Reynolds's three love interests in the film Definitely Maybe. Please write your answer down. You'll have 10 seconds Name one. to answer. One. Name one Two. of Ryan Reynolds's three love interests Four. in Definitely Five. Maybe. Ryan Six, Reynolds. seven. A film we both enjoyed, Christian. I've never seen it. Oh. <laughs> well, I liked it so much, enough for two people. All right, here we go. All right, we'll go to the challenger, 12 to 6. JT, how many points did you bet? I had no idea, so I bet one point, okay. and that's, I put Rachel McAdams. That's incorrect. Dawson. Will, Dawson. The score is now 12 good to guess. 5. Hell of a guess. Mark <laughs> Riley, how many points did you bet? Three. And you guessed. Isla Fisher. That is correct. Woo! 
Ooh, well done. All right, so that would be 5 to 15 now. We have 10 points here. Now it is time for round four, another new round specifically designed for the championship matches. And Christian, this is what's going to be known as the speed round because you got to be lightning quick. We're going to give the competitors five questions whoever knows it first buzz in with your name shout your name and you are on the clock it's a very quick clock if you get the question right you get a point if you miss the question you lose a point <gasps> yes and you have four seconds to answer the question very quick four <laughs> seconds go. and you answer with you buzzer is your name are you ready I'm ready there we go what historical figure is the center of the film young guns josh that was the kid correct give him one point okay number two in Wayne's World, who played the character of Cassandra? Josh, Tia Carrere. Correct. He's been studying her for a long yep. time. This guy. Who directed the film A Bronx Tale? Josh, but Robert De Niro. Correct. Very good. In oh. Back to the Future, Marty McFly travels back to what year? Josh. That Ooh. was Josh. I got Josh first. 1985? <laughs> Incorrect. That'll be 1955. Oh, he, goes, oh. he goes back to 1955. 16 to 5. Christian, a mental brain fart you yep. can smell from here. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So the score is 16 to 7. JTE is in trouble. If Mark yeah. Riley gets a point, he will knock out JTE. Here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Buzz in at any time. Name the movie featuring the following characters. Tank. Mouse. Riley. Josh. Riley. Matrix. The winner and still undefeated, undisputed, and the winner by knockout, he is the movie trivia champion, Mark Yoni Riley. Great display of sportsmanship right there, Christian. Wow. He, you know he's in ecstasy for winning the belt, for retaining the belt, yet he still takes the time to shake the hand of a complete loser, JT. That was very, very nicely done. All right, so we're going to hear from both the champion and the unfortunate uh, undefeated. Well, he's defeated now. He's, he was Wait, you know what? Him. A hell of an effort by, by he JT. He, he was. came out strong. He believed in himself. He just came up short. Very oh. short. All right, let's go to Sasha Pro Raver, who is with the champion and JT. Thank you, gentlemen. I am here with the champion, Mark Riley. Was there ever any doubt, sir? Yeah, yeah, there was. JT is tough. He's a tough guy. And let me tell you something. Those first round questions, uh, you think they're a little easier? I don't know. I was a little worried going in with those. Um, you know. No, that was a serious round. But sure. then you hit Star Wars. Come on. Yeah, somebody was looking out for me. Uh, maybe uh, Jesus, God, <laughs> C-3PO. I don't know. Um, yeah, Star Wars. I got that was the luckiest role, and yeah, I know my Star Wars. So that was that was that was it from there. But you also know your romance. Were you at all concerned when that category came up? I was actually keeping it kind of silent, but I'm pretty good at romance movies. Uh, de definitely, maybe I believe was the was right was the movie. Yeah. Okay, that's a good movie. I've seen it maybe twice. <laughs> Once for the kids. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was actually pretty confident with it. Well, now we have a man standing here that has three knockouts. That's the most in the league. You are you are a seriously fierce competitor. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's, it, it, it's a lot of fun. I like knocking people out. Well, speaking of knocking people out, now you get to face off against either Dan Merle or Scott Mance. Who would you rather see face against you? Oh, they're both tough. They're strong competitors. I love Mance. Merle was my co-conspirator uh, co in the team round. Uh, he's tough. He's Screen Junkies movie champs uh, champion, movie fights, I should say. So I would take on Mance first if I had to choose. Yeah. Do you think if it came down to like a Star Trek, Star Wars situation, you could take him? Easy. Easy. Yeah. I know my Star Wars more than he knows his Star Trek. It's a bold statement. The champion, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you, Sasha. JTE, yep. how do you feel? You know what, I actually don't feel that bad because I feel like I actually gave a really good effort. I was really quick on the multiple choice. I brain farted on one of them. Uh, it really came down to me, the match came down to Star Wars. Mark Riley, Jedi Council, the guy who knows Star Wars backwards <laughs> and forwards. He, he spun it and he got it. And when I, once I saw that Star Wars, I said, oh, please just miss one. He didn't miss one. He got two points for every single one. 
Uh, I felt pretty good about Scorsese. Um, some of the movies they went were definitely his smaller films. Like, I never seen the one where he's with Liza Minnelli. What was it? I don't New York, New York. Never saw it. I'm not a musical guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to use multiple choice. Uh, but, and then, yeah. So there are just some things where I was like, I'm still in it. But Star Wars definitely hurt. You also, were- let me just say, before the match, I said, no romance, no Star Wars. I got Star Wars, and then we got romance. I'm not a big romantic movie guy. Sorry. You were killing that speed round, though. That speed round seemed like yeah. nothing for you. The first round, I felt pretty good. I, I was so close with Spirited Away. Like, I knew it was uh, Maki's, Makazaki. I can't pronounce his name. That was perfect. <laughs> no, that was, no, no, no. Makazaki, I think, is Ma- perfect. Makazaki sounds like something I'd wear on my feet. But let me just say, Spirit Away is a great movie, and I feel like I wish, I feel like I could have pulled that one out, and I might have rushed it. Well, the thing is, you're still the people's champion. You still have the team championship to go into. How are you feeling for that? It's going to be interesting. Uh, Finstock, you know, you can never count that guy out. Um, I feel warmed up, you know, so I'm ready for that round. I want to bring a belt home. Uh, I'm not done with the championship, by the way. Okay, listen, I put in a good effort. I got a bad spin. I'm going to come right back up the ranks because I feel like anybody below Riley I could beat. But again, I do got to stress, it does come down to that wheel. Okay, well then, who would you like to call out next? Who's in your scope? Who's in your sight lines? Whoever is the number one contender at the time is who I want to face. Maybe it'll be Dan Merle, maybe it'll be Finstock, maybe it'll be Clark Wolfen sometime. I don't care. Whoever it is, whatever gets me to a title match again sooner is who I want to fight. I love a man who doesn't back down from a challenge. Good luck in the team final, JTE, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sasha. Oh man, JT, obviously devastated. He came in here, he really wanted to win that title and he gave a valiant effort. Oh, he gave a hell of an effort, Christian. I have good news for JT is that he has another shot at another belt coming up very soon, which would be the team championship. We know he's got to play these guys and there's no way he's getting through us unharmed well it'd be very sad if he lost two matches back to back i'm not feeling bad i'm no shradamus and that's gonna happen You're damn so right if you look at jte look he, he's a guy that's gonna be in contention again he knows his stuff he'll be back here again but man is this thing wide open i'm gonna have to say that i think because look we have scott mance going up against dan merle that's coming up soon the winner of that now plays Mark Riley. But does That's anybody even want to play against Riley at this point? The guy has been dominant every time that, we've seen him on a stage like this. That is three knockouts for Mark Riley. It's a that lot of knockouts big. for a five foot nine guy. Um, so that is it. That is the champion right there. Mark Riley, who looked dominant as we thought he would. Look, JT had him on the ropes in the first round, but then Riley just recovered, and that is why he's the champion. Hey, you know what? The guy's as dominant as his hair is jet black. My name is Mark Ellis. That is Christian Harloff. Thank you guys so much for watching us at home on your computers comment on this match right now let us know how surprised or not shocked are you to watch the outcome and thank you everybody here in studio for attending the movie trivia showdown and we'll see you on may 6th when the civil war happens between team schmoes and team box office breakdown we'll see you next time hey guys if you like this video click the thumbs up button Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.